In this video, we're taking a look at the Marin Alpine Trail 8, and here's a little review. So the spec of the bike I'll touch on, but I'll leave all the details in the description so you can see that, you can pick that up anywhere. But this video is more to tell you how it felt to ride and how it withstood the abuse of hard weeks riding. Here's the score. Basically, I proposed a trip to Marin and they lent me the bike for a couple of weeks and they haven't asked me to say anything in particular about the bike. This is all my own thoughts, completely unbiased, but I've ridden the bike for a week. I feel like I put it through its paces and it does feel genuinely good. I definitely think if you're, look, if you're in the market for a do-it-all enduro bike at around the three grand mark, this should definitely be on your radar because I feel like you're getting a lot more for your money with this bike than others at the price point. What's it good for? It's a great all-rounder. It can ride big bike park laps or it can go and ride trail center. What else do you want? Let's start with the wheel size. So it's a 29er. We've got 160 travel on the front, 150 on the rear. On the back of the frame, it says it's made for fun. So it's uh, one of Marin's kind of do-it-all bikes, bit of an enduro vibe, but mainly predominantly made for fun. So I would, if I'm thinking of fun, I'm thinking of roosting corners and doing some jumps and styling it up, that kind of thing. And it did feel like it suited that, that bill perfectly. Like that's what this bike's made for. So what did this bike what did this bike do well? It was it's extremely easy to ride and quite a play, has a playful feel to it. So you can pick up the front wheel when you need to, get a little skid out, a little scandy round. You can it's easy to manoeuvre in the air, like throw out a bit of a whip, and it feels feels a lot easier to do that on than my other bike, which is a giant brain. It's one of those bikes that you jump on and just feel comfortable immediately. Um, as soon as I put a leg over this bike, it just felt comfortable straight away. It's a playful bike, easy to manoeuvre. And saying that, it's uh, it's got 20, it's a 29er, so the wheels are big. And one of the first 29ers I've really ridden, and it didn't feel like a 29er whatsoever. Um, obviously you've got that roll, but it still turned really well and felt nimble. I feel like the the frames are on the kind of the small side of sizing so I'm a medium and it felt like a sort of a small medium so you might want to consider looking to go up a frame size potentially so for a big bike it climbs extremely well and I didn't even really need to lock out the rear suspension the shock feels amazing it's really sort of um, this shock is really firm at the top and then when you then when you sort of push into the suspension it does it sort of kind of breaks through so when you are pedaling and you're going uphill there's no sort of trail bob there's no sort of bounce um, and same with the forks I never really had to lock them out at all I just if I was at a trail center I just rode the bike fully open and um, it destroys the descents and it destroys the hills really great for sort of jumps it jumped really nicely and it cornered really well too so you go on the 29er wheels some people might think that that might hinder you round sort of tight corners didn't really have an issue with that I honestly felt like I was on a 27.5 so I feel like you've got the flickability of a small bike but then you've got the 29 wheels on it which kind of gives it that stability too um, but a lot of these bikes are demoed at a lot of trail centers I found there's a lot of places that stock these bikes as higher bikes so you might be able to get a test ride on one if you are considering so we've got the TRP slate for brakes and to be honest I'd like to see a bit of an improvement from there there wasn't any real consistency in them I think they were they kind of changed how they, they, the biting point changed quite regularly once they'd bedded in. So I think 
I like the feel of the brake and how sort of progressive it is, but I didn't like how it kept changing all the time. <sighs> Tad nervous dropping into this. This is by far the most technical riding I've tackled on the Marin so far. Here we go. Dropping. But I can't make my mind up about these V tires. I just can't make my mind up. The jury's out on that. Um, I've had a week on them and haven't had any crashes, but, and I have pushed the corners pretty hard, but I just don't know where I stand with them. <laughs> but just the general overview, I mean, you look at the, the bike that you're getting for the money, you don't get components like that on many other bikes coming with Fox suspension front and back and just it just set, that sets the bike in the right direction it feels planted when you're out there on the trails feels really nice while cornering I think what the issue can be with some 29ers is you feel like you're riding on top of them because of the wheels being so big and stuff like that whereas that was not an issue for that I felt well and truly part of the bike it's a good it's a big mountain bike which can take on almost any trail. Um, I did find the limit of the bike and that was on a, a really steep run called uh, Collins Corners at Revolution Bike Park. Ridiculously steep and it felt a tad out of its depth at that point. But I mean, the average rider isn't stumbling across trails like that very often, but it's a very capable bike on a lot of trails. Um, so I've just had another thought whilst uh, plodding on. This bike loves park riding, sort of like free ride kind of style. So big jumps and tabletops, all that kind of thing, and like big corners. I feel like it's, that's the bike in its element. If you've got any other questions about this bike, uh, leave them in the comments or reach out to me over on Instagram with a DM. Oh.